Okay, I'm actually on. Bot versus Shulk, we got a sword fight. Water Malone, Water Malone versus uh, Brownie, and we have uh, Brownie playing Shulk, Water Malone playing Cloud. I have no idea who Water Malone actually means. <laughs> He's used like a different character like every game so far. But um, anyway, we're gonna start off with the uh, usual try and feel each other out, figure out what both opponents are trying to do without giving away too much. Brownie going for the uh, Buster mode. And uh, it's, it feels like it's been like personal preference on the Shulk player as to which Monado they prefer. There are some Shulks who will prefer to pretty much alternate between speed and jump at like most times. Cloud now having one hit. Uses it on the cross slash and doesn't get it though. But he does have a pretty nice percent lead to work with as Shulk goes into the shield Monado. And it does save him from that down smash. Uh, Artem Malone getting the um, that Back first kill. He has very nice lead at the moment. And Brownie is going to go back into Buster mode while Artem Malone has limit. Brownie electing for Smash Mouth. I'm a little iffy about this because I think that finishing, well, he got the kill there. So I'm pretty sure that finishing, I'm not sure what percent finishing touch will kill, but Cloud had finishing touch. It was very possible that Shulk could have died at 33%. But um, Cloud getting the stage pretty much entirely in his favor, able to cover all that ground too. He has all the control right now. Yeah. It is shifting to Shulk for the time being. But he Man. did throw out that up B, it was a very risky move, and he paid for it with that down smash. Water Malone taking game one. <coughs> so, that one, I think Cloud had a, yeah, Water Malone had a lot of stage control for mo very much of that game. Okay. Yo, shout out to my nigga Aiko. Oh, also, shout out <laughs> to my nigga Henry. Shout out to my nigga Itchy. Normally shout out to my nigga. That. Stop. 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 Yeah, stop. Yeah, stop. 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 I don't even know what you're saying, but <laughs> the players aren't. You don't want to die, the players on the commentator camp. <laughs> you started giving shout outs to people. Yeah, it also, yeah, it also puts us further behind. Like, we're on a strict time limit right yeah, now. Yeah, so. don't. <sighs> Thanks for the shout out, though. He was giving people a shout out, so I mean, yeah. But it's wasting time, it's problem. Yeah. This place closes in like 15 minutes. Yeah. And we're gonna see Brownie's counter pick be. Is it gonna be Battlefield? Oh, PM. I'll just give you everything. Who's that drop take? We're going to Dreamland, and Brownie is going to switch over to Mega Man. Is this his main? Um, I think so. I do believe that it is. He does have a very solid uh, doubles Mega Man, from what I've seen. Okay. I... Right now it's pretty and, even. Uh, oh. I was uh, picking up a bracket there, so I missed. I completely missed how Mega Man accumulated up 60%. But um, not too much to worry about. It's uh, Brownie has brought it back. He's trying to rack up a lot of percent at once. He's doing really good at it, too. Yeah. And he has actually been very annoying to deal with with the Leaf Shield, too. Oh, I bet. I know it's been, like, very watered down, but... It does have its, um, jank uses. But, uh, Friday is going to need to be careful here, because without having limit, it's definitely something you're going to want to watch out for. More are going to use it on the cross slash, however. And that does uh, get Brownie a little bit more breathing room. So he doesn't really have to worry about getting uh, hit by finishing touch. Oop. And up there, he's going to actually get the kill off the top. 
So the character switch seems to be working out very much for Brownie. I'm actually not too surprised by that. Um, he was fishing for some up smash there. Got a couple, but he to, I guess he wanted to see if um, Water Malone was going to actually uh, fall into it a third time. The little shield is uh, coming in handy with the... Uh... Yeah, against Cloud, you definitely want to be sitting in shield a lot. Because, like, the, the most Cloud can really do about it is, um, is to grab you. Um, Cloud hasn't really had that much of shield pressure, as far as I can see. Right. And Upsmash is going to reach through the platform and take out Brownie's stock. But uh, Brownie did do a considerable amount of damage to Cloud's percent. He's throwing out a lot of down... Well, not a lot, but he threw out that down smash. Uh, so, might have been a little eager to try and get the kill there. Finishing touch, not quite going to hit. I don't think it would have even killed at that percent anyway, but Dreamland, I don't Bless know. You. I feel like that was a forward smash for Mega Man, but he didn't go for it. But uh, Cloud staying on stage for a very long time, trying to get and that limit, but didn't quite get enough, so he wasn't able to make it back to the stage. He's trying to get the limit so that he could uh, actually recover. But uh, we are back to it being even. One on one. Now let's see how uh, Watermelon uh, adapts to this. If he uh, decides to stick with Cloud or go with another character. I think he's going to go with Fox. If I was him, Fox? I would go Fox. Yeah. You may very well see that, especially against Mega Man. I'm not sure, though. He's going... Bay Okay. Corn. We've seen him play a lot of corn. This, uh... He did play corn previously, so... Yeah. <coughs> if he feels that's his best option, then by all means. But I do agree with switching off of uh, Cloud simply because uh, Brownie does have a pretty good read on what Water Malone is doing with Cloud and is able to um, actually limit what Water Malone can do with Cloud. This has been the bracket of uh, character switches. Going to Final Destination for Game 3, the final game of this set. Very fitting that we're going to Final Destination. <laughs> you see what I did there? <laughs> but, um, all seriously, it's back to the feeling each other out base, which is um, mostly due to the character switch. Um, it's actually getting shielded, uh, kind of thrown out there. Both players kind of respecting each other. Watermelon getting that force smash angled down. Uh, ooh, the sticky bomb actually went back onto Brownie. I was actually a little surprised with that because he went for uh, the uh, back air. Watermelon connecting with side B. Able to uh, reset the game back to neutral. But so far, neutral has been working out better for Water Malone than it has been for Brownie so far in this game. Despite the fact that Brownie is playing Mega Man. But, but uh, Water Malone has been pretty smart in picking his fights against Brownie. Uh, I went to uh, actually go in and uh, space. The uh, Sticky Bomb actually hitting Brownie. But uh, does end up leading him to getting hit by Down Smash. So we're basically seeing much of what we saw last game, except it's flip flopped the other way around. Water Malone now has control of this game, and since it's game three, it's pretty much set at this point. <clears throat> well, the patience. And Brownie is no stranger to patience. He's I did see him throw out some down smashes when I played against him in doubles, but um, the singles mindset might be a little bit different, so. Last time we saw him do a lot of like getting him off the edge and going for down airs to try to get an yeah. early kill. Yeah, to try and get the spike. There we go. Yeah, get, and we it see that it. time. There you go. <laughs> so, very good observation there. And a very nice down air spike. And the percents are actually very, very close now. 
pretty even right now, yeah. So that is uh, one outlier that this game has compared to the last one was that um, Bra Brownies didn't let um, his percent accumulate all that much during that stock. In fact, he's actually taking control of the stage and uh, been able to just putting really a lot of pressure the stage against Water Malone and put on a huge amount of damage. In fact, he's hardly even been hit on uh, this uh, Water Malone stock at all so far. Yeah, ever since he got the downer, yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, he, it, it does he got like, the read, too. Yeah, it does seem like a thing that he wouldn't really get too flustered about, considering that he was in kill percent anyway. But uh, he is going to need to um, calm down a little and stop throwing out these attacks, because if uh, Brownie's going to pick up on it, and he, very, and he has the experience to, then it could very well lead to the end of uh, Water Long's <laughs> set here. But, um, Watermelon actually having, uh, backed off a bit and, uh, started to take more patient routes. Very well aware that most hits probably will kill him. Um, Would an up throw kill at this percent? An up throw? From Mega Man? I'm yeah. not sure. Um, there's a lot of things out of Mega Man that will kill him. I know back throw will kill at the ledge. I'm not too sure about up throw. He does a fourth throw there. Ooh, Corn's roll actually going pretty far. And Brownie hanging on to that double jump, allowing him to make it back up to the stage. Ooh. And um, the stage actually is in Water Blown's control right now. He may have a lot of percent, but that's just rage at this point until we reset back to neutral. It's anyone's game right now. Yeah. It is very much anyone's game, even. Oh, and that charge there, down smash oh, is going to do it for go. Brownie. And Water Malone takes it 2 1 over Brownie. Very well played. Oh.